Hello, so let's talk about some skill and link rune changes in season 4. So the first one and the main one is gonna be absorb energy. This one right now is nerfed a little bit. Basically, instead of getting one eleven point six damage amplification per energy, in season four we're only gonna get eight point two. Also, they adjusted some of the specific ones. For example, fire energy right now only gives twenty percent damage per energy count instead of thirty. Another big one is gonna be Thorn Explosion. There are some some other ones, but these are basically changes a little bit how we want to do the builds. Thorn Explosion is probably the biggest nerf there is. It got nerfed on the tooltip by quite a bit. For example, the, the big explosion, the second Thorn Attack, instead of having 1.3k flat, right now only has 700, and instead of 800 multiplier, 500. So, with that and counting the awakening changes also, for the Thorn Explosion, I would say it's around solid 50% nerf or, or so. Basically, Source Awakening lost one source of damage amplification, which was Area Damage Jump. So, keep eye on that, keep in mind. There is some interesting ones, for example, Counter-Attack right now has Pain Effect for 4 seconds, which is actually gonna help with boss skills. On maps, it's not gonna do much, cause the CD is 1 second basically, but for the boss fight it should be more than enough. Everything else is kinda the same, most of the bow skills got overheat accumulation, buff so instead of consuming 45 it, it generating 45 right now is only gonna generate 40. Poison Skiva got a little bit more damage jump on the legendary effect basically but that would be the big one and the main one changes. There is another big changes for the links and that's gonna be actually the trigger trigger changes. Uh, for example, spell of activation on attack hit. Right now, it does not give basically 50%, adds 50% of main element increase amplification of activation skill to the element of the target skill. When the main elements of activation and target skills are different, what it means that it nerves absorb energy by quite a lot. Because this was the main reason Absorb Energy was so good with dual elements. Right now, unless the Chaos, unless the Charm Blessings gonna solve it, but we don't know that for sure. Right now, it looks like Absorb Energy is nerfed by quite a bit. There is, of course, new Link Rune changes. We still don't know how the Shadows are gonna work. We keep discussing it, but there is no way to know unless until the patch goes live. Everything else looks there all right. Reverse time is really good, really interesting one. Predator Roar is gonna be used on every single shot. It's just 15% damage amp basically. For single target is gonna be huge. Mounda Outburst is nice on the cooldown spells. There are some big ideas going on, but everything needs to be tested first, so I'm not gonna not gonna talk about that anymore. And of course, Warrior Shadow. Even the awakenings on the Shadow Link runes are really good. So keep eyes on the shadows. Another thing what I want to talk about is actually uniques. So there are four really good uniques. So the first one is gonna be the Quiver called Lewa's End. This is probably the best for the any for any bow build. 30% projectile damage jump, pierce count, additional chaos damage. So it's basically 45% damage jump on one quiver, not counting the, the Lewa Surveillance buff that basically summons a shadow. Another one is preserve Preservation of Reason. It's a helmet that gives you insane amount of or and seal effect. 
Max element resistance, HP amp, skill rune cooldown recovery, enhanced skill rune duration, and damage amp upon using enhanced skill rune, and it's up to 50%. This thing is gonna be insane. Most of what I'm showing you, I think they are only hardcore specific. So keep that in mind. So another one, another big one, is gonna be Band of Certainty for the Maximize builds. Basically activates double maximize damage per two strikes upon using Seal of Persistence and the same will deal, deals triple maximize damage per three strikes. This is gonna be big for maximize builds. And the last one would be the Sebda's Halter. It's basically a melee damage amplification neck that has damage taken decrease up to 30%, some more damage jump, and of course the Shadow. Plus melee damage jump at 50 strength. This is really good neck for melee builds, especially strength ones. The there are some other ones, but I don't know how good they're gonna be. Three and necklace is nice for the blizzard. People are brainstorming the blizzard builds right now. Another one would be the Lewa's Roar shoes for the shield strike. Shield strike shield strike is getting a lot of love. And there is really good shield, Miraceti Sailboat, that basically gives you Earthquake on 10 second cooldown. But the damage is not applied to bosses, but for the map it's really nice with the shield strike. So keep those in mind. Yeah, so thanks for watching. That's all I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna add these sp spreadsheets into the description. You can check the, those yourself. And uh, GG's have fun and see you guys on the season. See you in the next one.